knew I should have put that do not disturb sign on the door. Yes, what? Surprise! Oh, what the Where's hell Brooke? are you doing here? Where? Where the hell is Brooke? Oh, she's in the other room. Waiting for me. Oh, is that so, huh? Brooke's waiting for you in the bedroom. Well, actually, in the bathtub. I was just gonna join her. Care to stay and watch? No, I'm staying, all right. Right after I rip your arms out of their frickin' sockets! Oh, it's just so it's my arms, Deacon, you know? Better part of me, I need in one piece. Really? See, Brooke would never touch you because you're scum and she knows that. What's worse, Whip? You know it, don't you? Oh, uh, well, we've made a bit of progress here in Gay Perry, Deacon, as you can see. Tell me, did you bring your wife along? <laughs> this got nothing to do with her. Well, I think she'd feel differently. Why don't we just call her and see? Whip, you are leaving here. If Brooke wants to stay, well, I guess she can stay. <gasps> oh, alone? How thoughtful of you. I think she's better off alone. Yeah, that's the way you want her, isn't it, Deacon? Alone. Just her. No mate, just a baby. You know what? You call yourself a man. You're just a weasel. You're a clinging, insecure little boy. And I'm glad you showed up, because Brooke's gonna finally see who you really are. You know, you just can't stay away from her, can you? She's like a drug to you. You're addicted to her. Oh, you think I came here? Look. No, Whip. I came here for you. <gasps> Me? Deacon, remember, I'm the answer to your prayers. I'm your best friend in the world. I'm the excuse you need to get on with your marriage. And leave Brooke to you? Listen up. Plan A, I leave Paris with Brooke. Then there's my choice, Plan B. <laughs> you just don't get it, do you? This is out of your control. Which is exactly why I'm here. I'm here to take control. Oh, of what, Deacon? Me? The only way you're gonna do that is to kill me. And you're just not man enough to even even if you were, there's a pregnant little lady in there who might object. Doing her the biggest favor of her life. You know, you almost sound serious. No, oh, I'm serious as a heart attack, pal. Now, you can come with me peacefully if you want. Otherwise, I'll drag you up by your bleeding skull. Doesn't make any difference to me, because either way, you ain't staying. <sighs> well, well. You are quite the man, aren't you? You see, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what you're up to, Whip. I could hand it to you, though. You're a smart guy. Set yourself up for the easy roll. Early retirement. And what, you got all those, um, those long-term goals. Remember what, the yacht, the, uh, the nice crib and the beach? And then there's Brooke. I mean, she figures into it as far as she'll be writing the checks. Because God knows you ain't man enough to earn it on your own. But this is all to get to the big payoff, right? All to get her to say yes to marry you. And you're gonna be writing the checks, aren't you? She's just gonna be relegated to another notch in your belt like, uh, like Sheila or Mariah or Kelly. Or half a dozen other models. Yeah, that's right, pal. See, I've heard all about your little conquests. But do you think for one second that I would let that happen to the woman that I love? Do you think that I would, I would jeopardize her, her happiness, her sanity? Do you think for one second I would bring my child into a world, a world that you could come anywhere near him? And you don't know me. You just think you do. There's only one way that I'm leaving here without you. And that's if you kill me, unless you're ready to do that right here, right now, with every bone in your body and you will come along peacefully. Otherwise, you will have to kill me. Why well, don't you stand there, boy? Throw down. Get a man.
Save it, Stephanie. It's too late for apologies. <laughs> well, what makes you think that I've come here to apologize? you to leave Brooke alone. She came here to get away from you. But you just couldn't let her go, could you? No. You're just not gonna give up. Big mistake, Deacon. You should've stayed in L.A. He all right? Oh, yeah, he just uh, had a little too much to drink. Can't say I blame him. Oh, these Parisian strip clubs are a nightmare. You're going back to L.A.? No, no, uh, not me, just, uh, just Deacon. He's got a meeting back there. Brooke will kill him if he misses it. Okay, I just have some papers to fill out. We'll be on our way. Yeah, good. Oh, um, one more thing. Can, uh, can we just keep this between the two of us? Uh, Kind of doing a favor for Miss Logan. Certainly, sir. Thanks. I let myself out. Board, Mr. Sharp. 
I'm afraid it's time for you to say adieu to the City of Lights. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Because as long as Brooke is in Paris, you will never come here again. Yeah, that's right, Deacon. It's over. Now, any fantasies that you might have had about a future with Brooke? Well, I hope I knocked those out of your head. Because it's not gonna happen. You have put that woman and her daughter through enough already. You know, I wonder sometimes if you... If you have any remorse about what you've done, are you just too stupid to realize it? I mean, sleeping with the mother married to the daughter, illegitimate child on the way? You are a virus. A parasite. You're a disease, Deacon, and I am the cure. I am gonna protect this family from your destruction. Because of me, Bridget's never gonna find out what you've done. Because of me, your unborn child isn't gonna be born a bastard. What are you doing? Where am I? You're on the Forrester jet. You're going home to your wife. Oh, where's Brooke? Forget about Brooke, all right? Forget about Paris. Forget about everything that happened here tonight. I'm not fooling around anymore, Deacon. You go home to your life. I'll take care of Brooke. Oh. Oh. No, man. <clears throat> you don't quit, Deacon. Uh. I just don't want to quit. Nice try, Sharp. There's nothing more you can do. Brooke is mine.